Where did this funeral wreath come from? Isn't it a little unusual for a uh, movie star to help with a kidnapping like this? People, one at a time. Brady. Well, with all of my experience on the silver screen, I feel well prepared to save the day in St. Louis. Do you think the kidnapper is violent? Mr. Charmstrong, have you ever thought about growing a mustache? These pieces won't budge. Help! Is anybody out there? Who's there? It's Nancy. I found a secret room under the stage. I've got to check it out. The magician's room. I found the door, but the pieces that open the door are stuck. Here, try this. She was just here. Her shoe! Rubber is shockproof. The gate is electrified! Oh, Nancy! Hey! I think the kidnapper just moved Maya to a new hiding place! Have you seen anything suspicious around here? Wow, are you sure? I didn't see anything. I found evidence that will prove that Maya's being held in this building. Wow! Evidence? Where? I'll talk to you later. I've got to get a hold of Sergeant Ramsey. St. Louis Police Department. Missing Persons Unit, please. Please hold. Missing Persons, this is Ramsey. Sergeant Ramsey, it's Nancy Drew. Hi, Miss Drew. I found Maya. You found her? So the case is closed. I found her, and then she disappeared again. Good grief. This girl's a regular Houdini. All right. What have you got for me? I found a secret room under the stage. I saw Maya through a peephole, but by the time I got into the room, she was gone. The kidnapper must have moved her. A peephole, huh? Are you sure you saw her? Sir, there's evidence pizza boxes, and one of Maya's shoes. I left everything where it was so you could see for yourself. So you think the kidnapper's been using this secret room as a base camp? Well, this is very interesting, Miss Drew. It sounds like you've been conducting quite a search. Now will you please send someone over to investigate? Yep. Just bear with me while I try to find an available car. Help is on the way, Miss Drew. Great. Bye. Hi, Nancy. What happened? I found Maya! You found her? Oh, that's great. Where is she now? By the time I got through that door, the room was empty. Are you sure you didn't just imagine you saw her? I'm sure. She was there, and now she's gone. Don't tell me you think I'm crazy, too. But what do you mean, gone? She left? Well, she didn't just get up and walk away. Her legs were tied. The kidnapper must have moved her. I found a couple of pizza boxes down there, so at least I know she's not starving. Evidence. That should interest the police. Have you called them? Yeah, they said they'll come check it out, but they may not be able to get here for a while. I'll wait up for the police. You get some rest, Nancy. You're gonna need it for tomorrow. Can you believe this ransom demand coming out of thin air? But now the police are convinced that Maya's not in this building. But what about the evidence I found? Are you sure the pizza boxes were in that magician's room? Because the police couldn't find anything. That's impossible. Are you sure they looked in the magician's room? They searched the whole building. What are you doing hanging out with that Falcone jerk? I'm not hanging out with him, Brady. I'm conducting a search here, and I'll take any tip I can get. That guy's bad news, and he's certainly not going to help your credibility with the police.
by his notebook. Hey, you. Don't hey you me, Brady, you rotten fraud. Huh? I'm afraid you've lost me. You've been lying to me, playing Mr. Helpful and Concerned all this time. I found her notebook in your bag. I haven't done anything wrong. I wonder if the police will agree with that. Okay, Nancy, here's the deal. My real name is Brady Thompson. Simone pushed for Armstrong more wholesomely smoldering, she said. Yeah, so? I'm Wave of the Future, Inc. The owner of this theater, great nephew of J.J. himself. You can't do this! The package just came from that museum. We may have the goods to stop this demolition dead in its tracks. Check the ticket booth. There was a key here. This is our final sweep. In a matter of minutes, this building will be nothing but a pile of rubble. I'm so close. I just need a few more minutes. See anything, Dino? All clear in here, Sarge. Testing. <laughs> testing. One, two, three, testing. Is this thing on? Hello? <laughs> Another secret passageway. Hey, Nancy, I've been looking for you. Oh, what for? I've decided I need to get organized, Nancy. Tomorrow I'm really gonna straighten up in here. I know it's you, Joseph. But why? Were you trying to buy some time so the Historical Society could declare the theater a landmark or something? Do you think the premiere will sell out? Snap out of it. Just tell me where Maya is. Don't tell him she's here, Nancy. I will take her away and knock down the theater. Don't tell him, Nancy. I must have the key somewhere in my bag of tricks. So fast, Detective. There's Nan. Ah! That light! Three minutes till demolition. Dear Bess, I still can hardly believe that Joseph, sweet old Joseph, was Maya's kidnapper. He says he planned to kidnap Brady with the idea that Simone could use her Hollywood connections to save the theater. But when Maya entered the dressing room, he panicked and grabbed her instead. Plan B was to stall the demolition long enough for the Historical Society to declare the building an official landmark. I guess he's been at the Royal Palladium for so long, he just couldn't imagine his life without it. But, desperation aside, poor Joseph wasn't cut out for a life of crime, and pretty soon things were spinning out of his control. Simone's publicity stunts didn't help. At least he was courteous and kind to Maya through the whole thing. Her testimony should help him in court. The good news is that the Royal Palladium is still standing. Once he heard that Nicholas would inherit his grandmother Louisa's 50% of the theater, Brady decided he'd better find another site for Planet Tinseltown. In order to make amends for things, and because he needed some good publicity, Brady donated his half of the theater to the St. Louis Historical Society. Together with Haddit, they should have this place restored to its original glory in no time. Not such a happy ending for Simone, I'm afraid. She received an official reprimand from the National Press Corps for her stunt with the wreath. Still, knowing Simone, she'll be back at the top of her game in no time. So, here ends the longest three days of my life.
The premiere of Vanishing Destiny is back on. But I think this detective is going to wait for it to come out on videotape. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy.